Tell I'm in the zoo I got time in the shoebox I can with my mood Tell me time that I move me Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. 7A Sports TV here. Shout out to the LDBC, Lions Den basketball community in this case. All right, you know I had to come back and do my post-game reaction to the Milwaukee Bucks versus the Toronto Raptors. Game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, it was going down. The city was on fire last night. Salute to the city of Milwaukee. Salute to all of the fans that came out uh, to the stadium and came out to uh, uh, downtown Milwaukee and just had it on fire last night. Every bar, every street corner was on fire. Uh, fans were everywhere in full support of the Bucks, and that's how I like to see it, man. Salute to all of the fans out there that's riding with the Bucks. you know what I mean? Um, so the Bucks take game one at home uh, over the Raptors. Um, we won the game 108 to 100. Uh, we started off the game horrible, okay? Um, we, we, we just were horrible. We sucked. The first, uh, the first three quarters, you know, we couldn't hit a shot. Um, what it really was was rust, you know what I mean? The same thing happened when we played Boston, right? Because we finished Detroit, we swept Detroit, okay? We swept Detroit, we had, we were well rested, and we got a little rusty. Played Boston in game one, and Boston took game one. They stole game one at home on us. Um, and uh, everybody, you know, panicked. And, you know, he got, had guys like Paul Pierce coming out saying, the series is over, you know what I mean? Uh, but this game really reminded me a lot of that Boston game because in the Boston game, we were rusty. We had wide open shots, our normal shots, but we were missing them, missing all our three-pointers. So I knew, I came on here right after the game and I said, look, I'm cool with that. You give us those same shots, we're going to win this series. Easy work. It's no way you're going to give us those shots and we're going to keep missing. It's not going to happen. we got too much firepower. But, you know, of course, everybody, oh, no, man, Boston, man, but whatever. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You say hi to Boston when you see him. You dig? But uh, right now, we got Toronto Raptors. We came out, we played bad, uh, couldn't hit a shot. You know what I'm saying? Toronto, um, you know, first two minutes of the game, you know, they wasn't playing that good. Giannis established himself in the paint very early. I was happy about that, that he took it down to the paint early. Uh, referees was not calling any fouls for Giannis uh, how they normally do. Usually, when Giannis go, is aggressive and goes to the, to the rim, usually the referees um, will spot the foul and call the foul, and Giannis can uh, get the other team in foul trouble and spend some time on the free throw line and uh, get his points. But the referees did not call fouls. So Giannis ended up fin finishing the game with like 24 points. Uh, he should have had about 34 had he gone to the free throw line. But, you know, it is what it is. We can't complain. Y'all holding wild blaze. But Toronto just got out of a seven-game series uh, with the Philadelphia 76ers. Very emotional series. Uh, uh, came down to lit literally the last seconds, okay? Kawhi Leonard uh, hit the game winner. Uh, the You know, the shot seen all around the world. You know, um, and that's a very emotional, draining uh, series for them. They played seven games. We knew Toronto was going to be in rhythm, but we also knew Toronto wouldn't have the stamina to hang with us because we had that time off. and we, we, We're fresher, we're younger, you know what I mean? We're, we're a better team. Uh, Toronto Raptors have one, two, three, four. They have four guys, four. They played 40 plus minutes in that first game. They didn't have a chance to rest, bro. I want y'all to understand something. That's the whole fucking game. 40 minutes? Look, Ka uh, Kawhi Leonard played 42 minutes. Uh, Siakam played 42 minutes. Uh, uh, Mark Gasol played 40 minutes. Kyle Lowry played 40 minutes, okay? And Danny Green played 35, but we're going to stick to the 40s. With just the 40s, okay? You got four guys. That's the whole game these guys played. They were already played a seven-game series. They're tired. All right? As good as Toronto played, with all their starters out there, basically for the whole fucking game, right? And with the Bucks playing as garbage as we played, we were able to win this game. We, we, we from the dog, Toronto. Initially, I thought we would beat Toronto in like a seven-game series. 
And it still might go seven. Toronto might surprise us. Uh, I thought we would beat them at seven, okay? This looked like it might be six or five, bro. This this looked like it might be early. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Toronto, they tired. They tired. And they don't have the bench to help them. Okay? You got their starters. Their starters playing the whole fucking game. All right? You know, Toronto's uh, starters are playing the whole game, basically. They don't have time to rest. The Bucks, on the other hand, let's look at the Bucks uh, minutes. Giannis played 37 minutes. The leader of the team, 37 minutes. 24 points, 14 rebounds, 6 assists. Okay? Mirachik, 13. Uh, well, Mirachik had 25 minutes. Okay? He's a starter. 25 minutes. Okay? You have Brooke Lopez played 35 minutes. Uh, Chris Middleton played 35 minutes. Eric Bledsoe played 30 minutes. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon played 27 minutes. Gave us some serious buckets coming off the bench. And Brogdon is really a starter, but, you know, he since his injury, um, you know, this is his first series he's playing in. Um, he was injured throughout the whole playoffs in case anybody didn't know that. But that's really our second best player, Brogdon. But, you know, Middleton is, is, is definitely a good player. But Middleton is kind of streaky, you know what I'm saying? Uh, George Hill played 27 minutes. Um, Ila Vasova played 14. Pat Connaughton gave us 11 minutes. So, the point of all that is telling you that the Bucks were able to rest our starters, all right? We were able to rest our starters for at least, at least five to ten minutes longer than Toronto was able to do. Toronto was not able to do that because they did not have the support coming off the bench. And that spells trouble for Toronto Raptors against the Milwaukee Bucks. All right? The Bucks, look, we are a young team um, when it comes to experience, okay? Um, we're, we're, we make a lot of mistakes. We get out of it based off of our talent and our shooting ability. We can shoot ourselves out of the mistakes we make. But, you know, we're going to have to make some improvements uh, before we play Golden State. Um, we definitely going to have to make some improvements uh, because, you know, it's, it's some things, you know, like Middleton always. I don't know why Chris Middleton. Like, I love Chris Middleton, but I don't know why he thinks he's Allen Iverson. I don't know why he keeps trying to dribble the ball into a fucking double team. Like, you know, I can see the strip coming from the TV, bro. I'm watching this shit. I can see the strip coming. Like, what are you doing? Why, why would you go, you see you finna get double team, yet you got the ball in your right hand, and you go right into a double team. <laughs> Strip. Don't see how Milton keeps doing that. And the Bucks in general do that. Um, Eric Bledsoe uh, is built like Tukey Williams, but for some reason he wants to stand behind the three-point line and yak up jumpers. Eric, Eric Bledsoe, when he goes into the paint, he bullies everybody. There's no point guard in the league that can deal with Eric Bledsoe in the paint, okay? He played big boy ball in that paint. He can get up there. Why he don't use that to his advantage at all times, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Brooke Lopez, our center, who has been uh, uh, just phenomenal for us this year. Great pickup by the Bucks, getting Brooke Lopez. Believing in Brooke Lopez, Okay. Lopez gave us 29 points, bro. 11 rebounds, 29 points, 2 assists, okay? Lopez stood behind that three-point line. He was he was horrible in, like, the first quarter. And I think it was, like, somewhere in the second quarter where he finally hit a three. And every, every, after, after that, Lopez was balling. Lopez was down in that paint, scrapping for points, getting tip backs, Hustling for rebounds, and then that's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. You know what I mean? We want, we want motherfuckers out there who are trying to win the game, bro. You know what I mean? People who are happy to be. I like, I like Brooke Lopez. Man, I like his attitude and his approach to the game. He when he open, he's shooting that shit, and that's what I like. You know what I'm saying? I like. I'm. A, you know what I mean? Look, you know you know me. My favorite Bucks team was the uh, 2001 team where we played Philly in the Eastern Conference Finals, you know, Sam Cassell, Glenn Robinson, Ray Allen, 
Tim Thomas, them guys. And one thing about that team, when they was open, they shot that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, politics, you know, they didn't want us to win and shit. It is what it is. They cheated us. You know, they suspended our boy Scott Williams. You know, they want to, you know, whatever it is. I ain't going to make no excuses. We lost the shit. It is what it is. I, I'm still not over it, but we lost. You know what I'm saying? In 2001. But now, we got a squad. This squad is even better than that squad. This squad here we got is even better than that squad from 2001. Because back in those days, we had Ray Allen, Michael Red, Tim Thomas, who could who could hit some threes. But on this squad, everybody, bro, we, let me look at who we got. Who, who can consistently hit threes? Miritic can hit threes all day. Brooke Lopez can hit threes all day. Uh, uh, Chris Milton, we know, can hit threes all day. Um, uh, Brogdon can hit threes all day. Okay? Ilivasova can hit threes all day. We got five guys who for sure can hit threes all day long. Then we got the other guys who good at three-point shooting who can't hit when they open. Like George Hill. Pat Connington. You know what I'm saying? Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe can go on the street. He can hit a couple of them. And of course, Giannis answered the combo. When everybody was hating on Giannis, talking about he ain't got no jumper. And I kept telling everybody, Giannis don't need no fucking jumper, bro. He don't need no jumper right now. That should have come later. Right now, he need to be beast mode while he's young. Beast mode in the paint, bro. Okay? Draw and kick. Giannis, I watched this game. This man get the ball on top of the key. Take one step into the paint. He got four Raptors on him. That's sweet. All Giannis got to do is pass the ball to one of his open guys. He passed the ball. If, if, if Raptors get back on D real good, the Bucks rotate the ball, move it so fluidly and effortlessly. We share the ball. Man, this is a beautiful, beautiful thing to watch. We share the ball, and then we get another open shot. Even if we miss, I love the ball sharing. I love the way we, we move the ball around. You know what I mean? The energy from the Bucks, Guys like Pat Connington, you know what I'm saying, who come in and give us a lot of good energy. Uh, George Hill, love him. And, and like I said, uh, 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 Brooke Lopez, phenomenal when it comes to the energy, you know? Phenomenal. So Malcolm Brogdon is back now. He gave us 15 points off the bench in 27 minutes. Brogdon is going to get even better. You know? Brogdon is going to explode for a big game in one of these games. I don't know if it's going to be this series or the next one. But Brogdon is going to, he going to, when he get back, all the way back from off of that injury, when he totally confident in himself, you're going to see Malcolm Brogdon act a fool out there on that court. Act a damn fool. Okay? Giannis is going to have a couple games this series against Toronto where he absolutely destroys Toronto. Okay? Now, Toronto was trying to uh, give Giannis some length. And they putting Siakam on him and stuff like that. But these guys got to play the whole fucking game. You know what I'm saying? Siakam and... Uh, 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 Serge Ibaka, you know what I'm saying? These guys got to play so so many minutes, you know, and try to. But see, I eventually it didn't happen this game, but eventually them guys gonna start getting in foul trouble, bro. Giannis is gonna be beasting them dudes down in the paint. They're gonna get in foul trouble. Giannis gonna feast at the line. It's going down. So, like I said, I think we'll. I picked initially. The Bucks to beat Toronto Raptors in seven games. It might, from judging by the first game, where, where you had Kyle Lowry, you had Kyle Lowry stepping up, giving the giving the uh, Raptors thirty piece. He gave the Raptors thirty. Kawhi Leonard had thirty. All right, it, like bro, that, it's not gonna get no better than that for the Raptors. This was the game they were supposed to win. This was the game they were supposed to win. I thought the Bucs was going to lose this game. in the fourth. When Once the fourth quarter started, I said, man, we lost this shit, man. I'm thinking in my head, we lost this shit. 
I even went, um, I was downtown, and I looked on my phone at uh, Ticket TV's uh, live stream. I left him a comment. I couldn't hear what he was saying too much because it was all the people out there yelling. But I said, man, we finna lose this shit, man. Ticket said, no, man, y'all good. Y'all finna come back and win this. I'm like, nah, man, we finna lose this shit, bro, because the way things have been going for the Bucks this year have been if we go into the fourth quarter down, we usually lose. This was the first time I seen us come back and win a game. So going being down in the fourth quarter. So uh that spells trouble. That spells big trouble for the Toronto Raptors, man. Cause you ain't gonna get that kind of play from Kyle Lowry no more. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna get that kind of play. You know, Lowry, I'm sure his confidence is through the roof now. He played well and all that kind of stuff. But look, all them threes Kyle Lowry was hitting, man, he ain't finna be doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, the Bucks, we don't defend the three that good anyway. We got we got one of the best defenses in the league, but that's in the paint and stuff like that. We don't really defend the three that good. We give up threes in order to snatch the rebounds. You know what I'm saying? And, and the way it's been balancing out is we give up three-pointers, we get the rebounds, we hit our shots. And that's been working for us. Now I am, I'm afraid of that concept against Golden State because Golden State, these boys, they knock down threes. You know what I mean? Golden State knock down threes. Um, they very dangerous. They pull up from anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know that can get us in a lot of trouble. So we're gonna have to hang with them boys um, when it comes to three point shooting. And uh, I think uh, what we're gonna definitely have to do against Golden State is we're going to have to have Giannis get them in foul trouble, okay? And Bledsoe. Giannis and Bledsoe are going to have to get Golden State in foul trouble, all right? Bledsoe has to be a bully down there in the paint. I'm not talking about driving full steam ahead like a Mack truck and getting no fucking offensive fouls. I'm talking about getting down there in that paint, pump faking, drawing the fouls, big boy status. We do that. We can beat Golden State. Golden State is seasoned. These are seasoned veterans, seasoned champions. Of course, I'm not taking them lightly. I understand it's going to be a war. It's going to be a battle. But we need to. We, we got to beat these dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? But we, we'll talk about that later. We got to focus on these Raptors because they still got Kawhi Leonard. You know what I mean? But like I said, uh, after uh, the Philly series with Kawhi Leonard, I said, look, man, Kawhi Leonard shot 39 shots, had 41 points. <laughs> As a Bucks fan, I take that all day. If Kawhi Leonard is going to shoot 39 times and have 41 points to finish the game, I, bro, I take that all day. Give Kawhi 41 with 39 shots. Because that means the rest of the team ain't doing shit. Like, we'll take that all day. You know, but Kawhi tired though. He can't find no rest. You know what I'm saying? He can't find no rest right now because they ain't got the. Everybody talk about the the Raptors being deep. Somebody was trying to argue me uh, earlier this playoff season, talking about um, the Raptors. Man, y'all gonna be in trouble when y'all play the Raptors. The Raptors got a deep bench. They deeper than y'all. I man, get the fuck out of here, man. The Raptors deeper than us. Why they ain't play none of their deep bench then? Like I said, they had one, two, three, four. Four guys that played 40 plus minutes, bro. Four guys. Why they couldn't use their bench? Especially as bad as the Bucks was playing. Like hot garbage. Why 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 they couldn't use their bench, bro? You know what I'm saying? I now I expect the Raptors to come back, especially at home. When we get when we go to Toronto, we need to we need to win this next game at home, though. We need to Friday we play at home. We need to go up in here, defend our home, defend our throne. And then take it back to Toronto. And Toronto, we know it's going to be biased there. Uh, the crowd going to be lit. The Raptors got a good fan base. Uh, you know, uh, old fucking Drizzy Drake going to be there. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing I'm going to talk about. All these women in Milwaukee pissed me off last night. All these women downtown. Where Drake at? Where Drake? All these women in their little fuck em outfits. Where Drake at? Is Drake here? Is Drake? I'm like, girl, we, we here for the Bucks. Fuck is you talking about Drake? Get the fuck out of here. 
I'm talking about at least six, seven women I heard talking about with Drake. Where Drake at and all this shit. Like, girl, Drake ain't thinking about you. This nigga rich. Drake rich in the motherfucker. Drake get motherfucking bitches a dime a dozen. You think Drake worried about you? Coming down here in your best, uh, your best little, uh, little outfit and shit. And got your hair done and shit. And you think Drake finna be, ooh, who is she? I never seen a girl. Like, get the fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? Maybe down here to support the Bucks. And looking for Drake. Drake ain't thinking about your stinking ass. So anyway. Yeah, you know, when we get to Toronto, you know, I, I expect Toronto Raptors to step their game up. I expect the officials to uh, be bent towards the Raptors. And uh, because, look, I mean, let's, be, let's face it. The league does not want this series or the Portland and uh, uh, Golden State series to be no sweeps. They don't want that. It's about revenue. TV marketing and all that stuff. They don't want that shit to end quick. And that's why I say seven games, we're going to beat them. Even though it's looking like closer to five or six. But I expect it to be a lot of fuckery once we get to Toronto. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to do too much complaining about it. I expect it. I know what we're getting into with the NBA. It is what it is. It's been going on for years. Um, and another thing that pissed me off this morning. I, I wake up this morning and, you know, I'm a Bucks fan. So I can't wait to hear what the mainstream got to say about the Bucks. I promise you I'm not making this up. I promise you. I turn on my TV. It's early. It's like 5, I think. 5.30. It's like 5.30-ish. Or maybe even six. I can't remember. I was I was sleeping the motherfucker. But I get up, I click on the motherfucking TV, and um, the TV is on. Um, I think FS1, and they only talking about the fucking Lakers, bro. They only talking about the fucking Lakers. Now I'm sure they talked about the Bucks. You know what I'm saying? In the Raptors game. But why the fuck are y'all talking about the Lakers, bro? And Anthony Davis and Anthony Davis doesn't want to be with the Pelicans. He still wants to go to LA. What, what the Lakers have to do something. You know, Jenny Buss and shit. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of here, bro. They didn't make the playoffs. Get these motherfuckers up out of here, bro. I'm tired of hearing about these motherfuckers, bro. It's a new it's a new day. Let these other teams get some shine, man. Y'all dudes trying to push this narrative, man. Stop it, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, man, fuck that, bro. I ain't trying to be no fucking hater and shit. I, I, I'm not no no fucking hater. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, y'all got to stop this, bro. Stop giving people props for shit they ain't earned. The fucking Lakers ain't earned this respect. Anthony Davis. Who the fuck is Anthony Davis? I'm tired of hearing about Anthony Davis every fucking year. This nigga don't do shit. Always hurt. Big ass eyebrow ass nigga. Always fucking hurt. Limping his ass around. He ain't got no heart. Nigga fucking quit on his team. Want to go somewhere with LeBron? Man, he ain't finna win shit with LeBron because he a quitter. Anthony Davis ain't shit, bro. I swear. Everybody be hyping this dude up. He a good fucking player. He talented, but he ain't got no heart, bro. He ain't got no balls. Nigga quit on his own fucking team. <coughs> Fuck quit. This dude, I don't want no quitters around me. But they keep talking about, oh, LeBron get Anthony Davis. And if they can convince uh, Kyrie to go with, like, bro, how thirsty can you be? Whatever, I ain't even going to, I'm not going to play the game. I'm not even going to fall into that and, and, and talk about the same bullshit they be talking about. It's about the Bucks, man. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and as I said, we can't be faded. The Milwaukee Bucks cannot be faded. You understand? We can't be. I told y'all, when we was 9-0 and to start this season, I told y'all we went to 60 games this year. Y'all laughed at me and said, yo, you bugging 78. Oh, you tripping 78. Oh, the Bucks ain't going to win those 60 games. That's ridiculous, man. They look good now, but they're not going to. And what we get? We get 60 games. I also told y'all we was going to smash through the Detroit Pistons. Right? Then I told y'all we was going to smash the Boston Bombs. Now I'm telling you again. Right? We finna smash the Toronto Raptors. And when we get done with them, we go into Golden State and we're gonna beat them. Okay? Now, I respect Golden State. I know who they are. I'm not I'm not fucking delusional. But I'm riding with my squad. We're gonna bust their ass. By any means necessary. We're gonna do whatever whatever the fuck we gotta do to get this job done to become the NBA champions. 
Oscar Robinson. I seen Oscar Robinson last night, bro. Seen the brother Oscar Robinson last night. This is big moves out here, man. You understand? We man, we look, man. I don't care what y'all talking about. We finna get this done. Y'all ain't gonna believe it until it happened. I know y'all ain't gonna believe it. But this is what I don't want to happen. What I don't want to happen is after we smash Okay, the Raptors. And then we uh you know, we beat. Cause see, what's going to happen with Golden State? Golden State probably gonna have us like three games to two. They're gonna have us three games to two. Everybody gonna be waiting on that closeout. Then we're gonna run off two games in a row on them. Two games in a row. That's what's gonna happen. Right? And at that moment, I don't want y'all trying to hop on on, on no Bucks cock. Don't hop on no Bucks cock, man. You know what I'm saying? You can't do it at that moment. Either you riding with us or you ain't. And some of y'all are such haters. Y'all ain't even Raptors fans. You just rooting against the Bucks. Cause you ain't ready for change. You ain't you don't want no small market team or a new a new era in basketball. You want the same old teams in the playoffs. And that's why ESPN and Fox Sports One talk about the Lakers every fucking day. Because they know how y'all are. They catering to y'all and they're not catering to me. And that's what irritate me. Like I can't listen. Like I want to hear about Portland. I want to know what people think about Portland and their chances and what Portland should do. But instead, when I come on, all I'm hearing about is Golden State. Right? Or I'm hearing about motherfucking uh, 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 the Lakers and, and Anthony Davis and can they get him? All this whole stupid shit. You know? Goofy stuff, bro. You know, the Knicks. Oh, the Knicks didn't get... All, all year, you've been hearing these cats talking about how the Knicks finna get Zion. All the experts, analytics guys. The Knicks are going to get Zion Williams. The Knicks get Zion, and then they're going to get uh, Kyrie Irving, and then they're going to get Kevin Durant. How the fuck do we know any of this stuff? It's already been proven they ain't finna get Zion. But what? what how do we know they finna get Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving? This is like people trying to speak shit into existence. How do we know the Knicks are going to get Kyrie Irving? Or well, sources, all our sources are saying that Kyrie Irving and, and Kevin Durant have already decided that they like, bro, I don't believe nothing these motherfuckers be saying, man. These dudes be lying, just be talking shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just be lying and talking shit. Maybe they'll go to the Knicks, maybe they won't, okay? But it'd be a bunch of mumbo jumbo these dudes be talking about. Y'all need to be on TV every moment of the day talking about the greatness of the Milwaukee Bucks. That's what y'all need to be talking about. How Giannis can't be stopped. Okay? How Giannis is the only guy in the league that command a four a four fucking four men uh uh four men four men on the court just just zoom in on him. Okay? As soon as he get in the paint, four people leave their man to stop one guy. That's how dominant Giannis is. Okay? So all our other guys got to do is hit shots. Easy breezy. You know what I'm saying? We're going to hit them. Salute to Brook Lopez doing his thing. You know, people were scared because Brook Lopez was missing his shots in the first quarter. But I'm glad he kept shooting. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the Bucks do. They ain't, we, ain't, we, ain't scared, we ain't scared out here, man. Motherfucker open, you're going to shoot that shit. Fucking sitting around hesitating and pump faking and shit like that. No, shoot that motherfucker. You know, Chris Milton needs to start yakking the motherfuckers up and stop uh, trying to dribble down. Man, you're not Allen Iverson, bro. When Chris Milton get off, man, it's a beautiful thing to watch. He need to go ahead and shoot that shit, man. You know, I'm sure he'll do that next game. No, but anyway, that's my opinion. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC, and I holler.